Hello, welcome to Gentle Yoga with Katie. Today, we're going to start in a lying down session. So please make your way to lie down on your mat. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release. Keeping the natural curve in your lower back. Close your eyes for a moment. Taking a few calming breaths. Setting your intention for today's class. Focus on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Stay very calm, relax, and still in the present moment. One more breath, and we can slowly wake up our body by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Rotating your ankles and your wrists. Gently turning your neck left and right. Inhale your arms up above the head, point your toes, elongate the body. Exhale, I'm down by your side. One more time. Inhale, your arms up above the head. Point your toes. Big, big stretch. Elongate the body. Exhale, I'm down by your side. Bend both knees. Wrap your arms around your knees. Rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion if you like. Massage the lower back and sit. Go the other way, reverse. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Lift your feet up to the sky, come into a happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpits. Rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine, the entire back. Opening up the hip joint. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. Slowly roll back to the center of the mat. Open up your legs in a big V. Grab hold the big toes or any part of the legs. And continue to rock side to side. Touching down on the floor if you have room. Opening up the hip joint. Stretching out the inner thighs. Slowly, slowly roll back to the center of the mat. Keep your legs open in the back V. I'm down by your side. Palm facing down. When you're ready, we're gonna scissor the legs. One time in front, one time behind. Nice and slow with control. Continue to open up the hip joint, stretching out inner thighs. Now you don't have to go big and you do not have to go fast. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Flex the feet. Stretching our hamstrings. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Helping you with circulation, energize the body. 
improve your immunity level, improve digestion, sleep quality, overall wellness. When you're ready, lifting the hand chest up, reach for the toes. You can either grab a hold of the big toes on the tire leg. Tailbone automatically comes off. Continue to stretch hamstrings. Slowly release the head down and down by your side. We're going to do three rounds of leg lift. First round. Do it down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, bend both knees, lifting the legs back up. Take a breath here. Second round. Do it down for seven, six, five, four, three, Two, don't drop it. Bend both knees. Lifting the legs back up. Take a breath here. Last breath. Lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way down. Bounce it a few times. Take a breath here. We're going to go away releasing on the right side. Grab your hands around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Give it a good squeeze as we massage the organs on the right side as well as ascending corner. Point the left toes up to the ceiling so both legs are engaged. Massaging the organs on the right side of your body as well as ascending corner. When you're ready, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, lifting the left leg off the mat, squeeze. If you can grab a hold of the right foot, go ahead. More intensive stretch. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Slowly release the head down and the straight leg down. Right hand on right knee. Using a gentle circular motion, massaging the right hip joint, five times one way, five times reverse. Slowly, slowly come kind of back to center. Spinal twist, right foot on left thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm out, shoulder height, palms facing down. Turn over to the right side of your neck is good. Hips automatically comes off. Stretch, strengthen and tone the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. We're gonna stay here for a little bit longer. For oh, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring the body back to the center and release. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Repeat wing releasing on the left side. Wrap your hands around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Give it a good squeeze as we massage organs on the left side of the body, as well as descending colon. Anytime you feel bloated or constipated, you can try with releasing and see if it's gonna bring you some relief. When you're ready, we're gonna lift the head chest up, head to knee, Lifting the right leg off the mat, squeeze. If you can grab a hold of the left foot, go ahead. More intensive stretch. Slowly, slowly, 
Release the head and a straight leg. Left hand on left knee. Using a gentle circular motion. Massaging the left hip joint. Five times one way. Five times reverse. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Spinal twist. Left foot on right thigh. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg if you have room. Left arm on shoulder height. Palm facing down. Turn to look at the left side. The more advanced student, if you want to do cat holding the tail, opposite hand, opposite foot. Make sure upper body, neck, shoulders are still on the mat. One more breath and slowly, slowly release. Bring everything back to the center of the mat. Straighten out the legs first. Bounce it a few times. And then we're gonna to come to a figure four. Keep your knees bent. Right foot on left thigh. Flexing the right foot to protect the right knee. Forming a figure four. Loop the hand through the opening. Grab behind the left thigh. Right elbow we'll push the right thigh out. Now you can stay here. If you like, and lift the head, chest up, head to knee. For a more intensive stretch, you're gonna immediately put a stretch here, right hip flexor, opening up the right hip joint. Helping people to relieve sciatica condition. Don't worry about lifting the head, chest up, if you find that this is too much for you. One more breath, slowly release the head down and release. Figure four on the other side, opposite ankle, opposite thigh. Flexing the foot to protect the left knee. Move the hand through the opening, grab behind the right thigh. Left arm will push the left thigh out. Now begin to stay here. Pull the knee close to your body. And you're gonna immediately feel the stretch in the left hip flexor opening up the left hip joint. For those who need more intensive stretch, lifting the head chest up, head to knee, squeeze. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Now we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Keep your knees bent. We're gonna go into a bridge pose. Knees are two fists apart, don't open up too much. Walk the heel, close your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're gonna lift the hips high, high up, forming a bridge. Roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the fingers. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Your quadricep and your glutes are firm. So in another word, squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thighs and your butts are firm, but not to the point of cramping. Strengthening the front abdomen muscles and the lower back muscles to keep your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. All the ways in the shoulder. Grab a little weight in the head and neck. Chin is always touching the chest. Stimulating thigh work there. We're gonna release the hands from underneath your bridge. Coming up on your tippy toes, lifting the hips even higher up. Inhale your arms up above the head. Fingernails on the floor. Keeping your hips high up. And we're gonna stay here for four. Three, two, one, slowly release the arm back down by your side. Release the heel back down. One more to break the time, release the spine back down. Once you come all the way down, 
windshield wiper, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Windshield wiper. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come off. Hip release. Now we're going to open up and drop both knees to the right side, forming a 90 90 degree. Make sure the left butt stay down. You should feel the stretch in the left quarters up hip joints. I'm down by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes for a moment. So a little bit of discomfort. So you listen to your body always to avoid injuries for more intensive stretch. Outside foot on inside thigh, drag it a little bit closer. One more breath, slowly, slowly release. And we're going to wish your wipe a few more times. Let it fall wherever it fall. Hip release. When you're ready, we're going to drop both knees to the other side. Walking the right foot outside the mat if it is accessible. Right hand on right ankle. Make sure the right butt stays down. You're going to feel the stretch in the right quarters of the hip joint. Beginner, you can stay here. Those who would like to have more intensive stretch, outside foot on inside thigh. Dragging it a little bit closer. Slowly, slowly release. We should wipe her a few more times. Now we're gonna get ready to roll over. Drop both knee to the right side. Raise your right arm. You sing the tricep as a pillow. So we're gonna come lie down for a moment in the fetus position. When you're ready, use your top hand to push yourself up. I want to come to a comfortable seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders relaxed down from the ears. Stomach and chest proud. Inhale your arms up, bow the head. Turn the palm up, exhale down. Inhale the legs and the spine. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale the arms up. Above the head, turn the palm up, exhale. Hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Stretching on the neck next. Ear to shoulder extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand, guide or support the head. Lengthening, stretch. Relieve any tension that you may have. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one, slowly come back to center, the other side. Near to shoulder, extend the opposite arm. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. When you're ready, slowly bring your head back to the center. Take an inhale, the center, exhale, turn over, look to right shoulder. When we go to where we're comfortable. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Chin up, head up. And then chin to chest. Both ways for stimulating thyroid gland. We'll repeat one more time. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Slowly come back to center. Chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Now we're going to look at the right armpit. 45 degree. Slightly tuck the chin in. Looking down.
slowly come back to center. Now we look at the other armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle. Looking down. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Next circle, either full circle or half circle. Nice and slow. No need to speed up. No need to go back. When you are ready, we're going to go into a full circle. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. Nice and slow control. Don't go so fast that you're going to make yourself dizzy. And we're going to slowly, slowly come back to center to release. And we're going to do that rotation the other way. Half circle first, nice and slow. If there's any stiffness in your neck, just stay here for a little bit longer. When you're ready, we're going to go into a full circle. Nice and slow. Don't make yourself dizzy. Know your range of motion always. Don't push yourself beyond your limits. And we're going to slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Taking a couple of breaths here. And we're going to go shoulder stretch, right arm up and across. Pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body. Looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, lengthen, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch, chin up, looking forward. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Now we're gonna slowly, slowly release, shake it up, get a side, arm up, and across, pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body. Looking forward. And release. Same arm up. Lengthen first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Tricep stretch. Now you can stay here for the more advanced student. If you want to bind your hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Chin is away from the body. Looking forward. Don't worry if you're not able to bind hands behind your back. Just do what you can. Now we're going to slowly release. Hands on the shoulders, I was in, I was out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pain to your shoulder blades. Opening up long, hard chest. Improving your posture. When you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to bring the elbows close together, oiling the shoulder joint. And reverse. Slowly come back to center to release. Shake it out. Forearm stretch, palm facing me, fingers facing down. Now you find that you are sitting for a little bit longer and you are uncomfortable to sit cross-legged. You can sit on a blanket or a towel, make yourself comfortable. Change direction, palm facing me, fingers facing up. Lengthening the forearm, energize the body. Increase circulation. Back of the hand facing me, fingers facing down. Stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point. Continue with wrist exercise. Back of the hand facing me, fingers facing up. Continue with wrist exercise and forearm stretch. And release, shake it up, the other side. 
palm facing me, fingers facing down, lengthening the forearm, opening up the energy channel, keeping your blood circulated. Change direction, palm facing me, fingers facing up. If you have very tight forearm and if you're not able to straighten it out, you can have a slight bend in your elbow. Change direction. Back of the hand facing me, fingers facing down. Back of the hand facing me, fingers facing up. Slowly, slowly, really shake it out. Wrist rotation, 10 times one way, 10 times reverse. Forward backwards, backing down. Thumb up, forward backwards, different direction. Change leg bar, give it a gentle shake. Shake, shake, shake. Slowly, slowly release, hands on your thighs, sitting up nice and tall, alternating shoulder roll, one up and one down. Continue with shoulder exercise, five times one way, five times reverse. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. Take a breath here. And then we'll get ready for a side bend. Inhale your arms up, lengthening the spine in the center. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Bending the lower arm, top arm is a crescent moon. Chin is way above the body, looking up. Lengthening the side of your body. Slowly come back up. We lengthen the spine and then exhale to the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm is crescent moon. Side bend. Slowly, slowly come back up. We lengthen the spine and center, exhale twist. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Wrap the back arm around your waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back. Turning the neck as well. For every exhale breath, try to turn a little bit more. Slowly bring the body back to center. We lengthen the spine to center. Exhale, twist. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Grab the back arm around your waist. Keep turning. Overlooking your shoulder. No care the back. Turning the neck as well. Slowly come back to center. Lengthening the spine and center, exhale, twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Turn a look at the back, turning the neck. With every exhale breath, try to turn a little bit more. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal arms, helping you to digest and detox. Now we're going to slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the anama. Forming and pressing. Looking up. Slowly, slowly release. The other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Bring the other arm behind your spine. Don't lean back too much. Overlooking your shoulder. Look at the back. Turning the neck as well. Over every exhale breath, try to turn a little bit more. Stretching your lower back muscles, massaging internal organs. Anytime you feel bloated, constipated, you can try the seated twist and see if it is going to help. One more breath. 
Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on your thighs, sitting up nice and tall. And we're going to start out with tasso turn, shoulder roll. Slowly cover more area, warming up the spine. Deeper, deeper tasso turn. One last round. And then we're going to go the other way, reverse, touching off our corner of this space, moving your shoulders as well, warming up the spine. Now we're going to slowly come back to center to release. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale out there, walking the fingers forward, arms off the mat, shoulders relax, forehead down. Now we're not dropping the head, keeping your neck and your spine in one straight line. Slowly walk the hands over to the right side, as far as you can go. Feel the length in the side of your body. Slowly walk the hands over to the other side, as far as you can go. Feel it in the side of the body. Slowly walking the hands back towards you. Take a breath here. And then we're going to come on all four. Spread all your fingers. Wrist underneath the shoulder. Knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. When you're ready, we're going to go into cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into a cat. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrates. Can and cow also help people to relieve back pain? Now, my arms and my legs are stationary, only the spine moving. One last one. Slowly come back to neutral, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. Take an inhale in the center, exhale to overlook the right hip. Squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Let the hip drop. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Form a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale. Slowly, slowly come back to center, swaying side to side. Come into arm balance, right arm and left leg out, right thumb to the sky, back toes down, lengthening, core strong. Keeping your neck and your spine in one straight line. And we're going to stay here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly release, swaying side to side. Repeat on the other side, left arm and right leg out. Left thumb to the sky, back to stand, lengthening, core strong. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, one, slowly, slowly release, straight side to side. Bring the left leg outside of the mat. And we're gonna tap side to side. Five times on this side. And 
And when you're done, slowly release, swing side to side. Repeat on the other side, bring the right leg outside the mat. Tapping it side to side five times. Feel the link in the side of your body. Slowly, slowly release. Sit back into your child pose. Release tension in your wrist. Sink the hip down onto the hips. Stretching our ankle joint. Hip joint. One more breath. And we're going to slowly transition to come lie down on your stomach. And we're going to go into back extension. Your legs are hip width apart. When you press on top of the feet, kneecaps come up, forehead down, hands by your chest. When you're ready, lift the hand chest up, hands up, kneecaps up, keeping your neck and your spine aligned. We're gonna inhale up, exhale, lower everything down. So do this about five times at your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. All the lying down poses, we're strengthening lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. After you've done five times, lower everything down. Extend your arms forward. Coming into a superman. Forehead down, knee caps up. Lifting the head, chest up. Arms off, leg and thigh off. Reach into opposite direction, looking down. Stretch. And we're going to stay here for five. Three. Two. One, slowly and gently, release everything down. Swing your arm beside you, going into a form of low fist. Once again, forehead down, kneecaps up. When you're ready, lifting the head, chest up, arms off, leg and thigh off. Looking down, keeping your neck and the spine in alignment. We're going to stay here for five breaths. One more breath, slowly and gently, release everything down. Once you come all the way down, second hands on top of each other, bend both feet, squeeze your wiper, dropping the knees from one side to the other side, let it fall wherever it falls. Feel the slight movement in your lower back, your butt swaying side to side. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. From here, we're going to go into a frog. Left hand, grab a hold of the left ankle. Extend the right arm out. When you're ready, lift the head chest up, left thigh and right arm off. Kick the foot into your hand. And we'll stay here for five breaths on this side. Neck and spine in one straight line. In the line. Continue to strengthen lower back muscles to support your spine. One more breath. Slowly release. Switching side. Left arm out. Right hand. Grab hold the right ankle. Take the foot into your hand. Lifting the right thigh and left arm up. And we're going to stay here. For five breaths. Slowly, slowly release once you're done. And we're going to go into a seal. Legs are apart as wide as the mat. Come up on your forearms, spread all your fingers. Elbows will be shoulders range. 
Now you can stay here for a few breaths. If you like, you can push yourself up. More intensive stretch. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. You can either look forward or look up, your choice. One more breath, and we'll slowly and gently release everything down. Once you've come all the way down, we will pop down. Legs are already apart, arms are in key, shoulder height. Left cheek on the mat, bending the right knee, draw it close to the right elbow, make yourself completely flat as we stretch out the left side of the neck and opening up the right hip. Two more breaths. And we are slowly, slowly switching side. Legs are still apart. Right cheek on your mat. Bending the left knee. Draw it closer, left elbow. Make yourself completely flat. As we stretch out the right side of your neck and opening up the left hip. Make yourself comfortable. One more set, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Bring everything back on your mat. Stack your hands on top of each other. Legs are hip width apart. Wiggle your butt side to side. You can either have chin down or forehead down. Once again, feel the slight movement in your lower back. Loosen up. Slowly, slowly release. To come off it, we're gonna go into a child pose. Knees apart, big toes to touch. Setting the hip down onto the heels. Walking the fingers forward. Elbows off the mat. Shoulders relaxed, forehead down. Try to sit back as much as you can. It's more important to sit on your heels than to lower the forehead down. You can always rest the forehead on stack hands, stack fist, or on your block. We're lengthening the spine here, massaging internal arms, massaging the third eye. One more breath. Slowly, slowly come up. Now we'll get ready to come up. So meet you in down dog. Spread all your fingers, tuck your toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Pushing the mat away. Maybe part of your palm, as well as all 10 fingertips on the mat. Walking the dog out by alternating, bending your knees. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretching out the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. One more. Inhale up, up, up on your tippy toes. Exhale down. Inhale, come forward to a high plank. Wrists underneath the shoulder, toes underneath the heels. Exhale to down dog. One more. Inhale, come forward to plank. 
not sticking the butt up, not sagging. Exhale to down dog. Slowly walk forward towards the hands. And now we're in the forward bend. All 10 toes facing the front, legs are here. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Hip bones above ankle bones. Dangle here for a moment. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below heart. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. Gently shake yes, work the head. Gently shake no. One more breath here. We're gonna get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. After you come all the way up, back bend to counter. Interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Lifting chin up and half up. Not pushing the hip forward. Shoulders and hips are level. Chin is away from the body. Looking up. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Improving your posture. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and half up. And then we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Coming into crescent moon. Inhale your arms up, palm touch. Release index finger, grow tall. Exhale, bend to bust the right side. Outside hand, grab a hold the inside wrist. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Couple of breaths here. Then we're gonna bring one hip forward, the other hip back. Doesn't matter which one is in front. Coming into a twist. Couple of breaths here. Slowly bring the body back to center. Lengthen first, and then we're gonna go and bring the other hip forward, the other hip back. Coming into a twist. Couple of breath here. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Lengthening the spine, it's on the exhale to the other side. Outside hand, grab all the inside wrist. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Shoulders and hips are level first. Chin is away from the body. Now we're going to bring one hip forward, the other hip back, coming into a twist. Slowly come back to center. Now the other hip forward, the other hip back, coming into a twist. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Come down by your side. And then we're going to sun salutation. Top of your mind, big toes to touch. Align the edge of your foot to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Inhale your arms up, back bend, exhale. Forward bend. Inhale halfway up to your flat back. Hands on chin. Eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on that. Stepping back into a plank. Shifting the weight forward. Beginners can drop to your knees. Tuck your elbow by your side. Come down. Inhale, cobra. Or up dog. Shoulders relax. Eyes looking up. Exhale. You can fall back on your knees. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Middle index finger facing forward. Separate your feet two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Lifting the hips high up. Align your ears by your inner arms. Eyes are located toes. Now we look between the hands. 
step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Palm touch, back bend. And then I'm down by the side. Into mountain pose. Continue. Inhale, your arms up, upper salute, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, hands on mat, step or hop back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. Chaturanga is all one breath, elbow tuck by your side. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, to down dog. Take your time to set up. Shoulder side external rotation. Elbow side internal rotation. Eye off the elbow facing each other. Upside down letter V. If you have very tight hamstring, slightly bend the knees. Now we look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale, forward bend, slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Palm touch, back bend. And then I'm down by your side. Into mountain pose. One more round. Sun salutation A. Inhale, your arms up, upper salute. Back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, hands on mat, step or hop back into a plank. Shifting the way forward, lower down, elbows lower than the shoulders. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Knee caps up if possible. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Legs are too fist apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Shifting half of the weight towards the legs to minimize the impact on the wrist. Align your ears by your inner arms. Eyes open your toes. One more breath. Walk or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up to flat mat. Exhale forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale your arms all the way up. Back bend, and then I'm down by your side, into mountain pose. Sun salutation me. Inhale your arms up, sit in your chair. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up your flat back. Exhale, hands on mat, step or hop back into plank. Shifting the way forward, lower down, elbows tuck by your side like chicken wings. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, to down dog. Adjust your foundation, lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Warrior one on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left foot F45. Square the hip toe back. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle, back to the street, body's in the center, shoulders are relaxed, eyes looking up. Now with the windmill, the hands back down on the mat. Pat the back toes and step the right leg back, shifting the way forward. Anytime you need modification, just drop to your knee to lower it. Inhale, cobra, or up dog. Exhale, to down dog. Take your time to set up, lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away, release the head down. Warrior one on the left side, so inhale, left foot forward towards the left hand, right foot at 45, square the hip to front, arm side, holding onto your ball, palm facing each other, pinky slightly curved in, shoulders are relaxed, eyes looking up. One more breath here. And then with the windmill, the hands back down. Stepping back 
into a plank, come forward, lower down. Immediately slide up to up, dog a cobra. Exhale to down dog. Minor adjustment, lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away, release the head down. Now we look between the hands, that or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Coming up to chair pose. Inhale, your arms up, sit in your chair. Waist in your heels, you can see your toes, wiggle your toes. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. And then we're going to power up with the strong legs. Back bend, and then down down by your side. Into mountain pose. Staying here in mountain pose. Arm by your side, palm facing down. Shoulders are relaxed, soft knees. Close your eyes for a moment, slowing down the happy. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to you. So we can take, take, take. Oh, sign it out to release. Again, inhale, your shoulders up. Creating a lot of tension. Exhale. Let it go. Two more times. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale. To release. One last one. Oh, slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. We come sit down. Coming into Parayama reading. Bring your hands to heart center. I'm going to count to five, but you only take one big breath in and count to another five and one big breath out. So when you're ready, I'm going to interlace the finger. Start exhaling all the stair air of the lungs. First round of deep, deep, deep inhale for five, four, three, two. One, palms towards the ceiling, hold it here for one count, and then hands in prayer. Start exhaling all the stale air of your lung. Now let's say by now we are done exhaling, just take another breath. Interlace the finger as you cross your heart. Second round, deep, deep, inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Palms towards the ceiling, hold it here for one count. And then hands in prayer. Start exhaling all the stale air of your lungs. Interlace the finger as you cross your heart. Last round. Deep, deep inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Palms towards the ceiling. Hold your breath here for one count. And then hands in prayer. Start exhaling all the stale air of your lungs. Taking a few more breath here. Close your eyes. Relax your face. Soften the jaws. Stop with your teeth. Lower the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Coming into a very brief meditation, Shavasana. Letting go of all your stress. Tension, worries, anxiety, anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Focusing on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise and balloon. And you, when you exhale, draw the belly button back to the spine. Staying very calm, relaxed, and still in the present moment. So we come to the end of the class. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you very much for joining me, sharing the joy of yoga together, and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.